fall have fine and as on get shift of feeling a lingo co a year one way me will espice soon fine until a seven is j no more go by a fine she may go make a poison poison or any tree but for fear she nami Coaching is putting your thinking into action. That is what coaching is about. Now, I studied them, I showed them, I revisited the match they played against us. Then I saw that we gave them enough space to operate because they are full of techniques. The boys, the 14, 20, 10, 8, 12. Very, very with the ball when you give them space. So we try something called uh, tracking and getting free. Track them, get free, and play. So we deny them the space for them to maneuver. In terms of power play, is zilch. If you watch our game against Mali, the young man was running away from taking, uh, in, uh, taking the ball. He didn't want it. Give me away, give me away. He was practically running away. He was running away. Mm-hmm. When, we were and, when we were being marooned and we were under attack from the Malians, and he had the opportunity of staking a claim in the team, any time an attempt was made to him with a ball, with a pass, he's running away. He's running away, leaving the ball. Hiding. <laughs> Hiding behind opponents. This whole Telemundo. Hmm? It's like a... It's like a... It's like a um, <laughs> Uh, it's, it's something listen, that sometimes for the, for the uninitiated, <laughs> Telemundo is a channel that shows telenovelas. Yes. <laughs> so this is like a soap opera. It's like a soap opera. Mm. It's clearly it's a soap opera. Mm. It's, it's, it's winding down. So let's call uh, Extremadura man from Extremadura man. Ah, Mora. When the boy is coming to the player, he's running away. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what's the game? And shockingly. There's a certain miraculous acrobatism. Number <laughs> That's I know. That's any bay. I'm going to say, 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 they know the punishment. It serves you right. <laughs> no, not the punishment. See, no, see, see. You choose. You choose. You choose. You choose. You choose love to my job. Is that what you do? Because when Chata go do, every day when Chata go marry. Yeah. So you be footballer. See, we twenty nine. We don't play football. No marry. You marry. We start late after we fall. No, 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 no. You say the woman. That would be the time where money cuts. No. <laughs> so you choose love over career. Mm. And so if today you get your lover, the coach say they give you more time to go shop love. <laughs> so it's not a big deal. <laughs> Me, I guess that I told that this matter. They are that, that's Don Bote still want to play football. You are 36 years old. Forget about the age. We cannot forget about the age, Don. Mm. You are 36. Yeah, 36. You doubt 36. You know me. Forget about the age. What you want me to come and do for you? You still think you can perform at the yeah. highest level? Why in Ghana? Yeah. Not in Ghana, sir. Anywhere? Yeah. You train? Serious. By yourself? Always. Why don't you want to join a club and train? Uh, you see, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Them themselves, they don't believe themselves. The coaches don't believe themselves. They are not real coaches. They don't... You have to believe, believe yourself that no, this guy can do it for me. If you believe me, I can do it. But so far as you just relax yourself, no, if I come self, I won't get that spirit because you don't believe me. So you think that if a Premier League team were to give you an opportunity to play, you would make an impact? Can I yeah? Yes. I'm, I can play I can play pass all the current players. That's all a the current players in Ghana Premier League. 
That's a serious statement coming from somebody who yeah. hasn't played in almost a year. You know something? I know myself. That's why I said, if you don't know me, you don't know me. You see, as for a game, like when you get a chance, you play, every blessed player will decide to score. But and then to decide to. So when you both decide together, then you miss the chance. I decide differently, and he also decide differently. And our decision was together. That's why he can I raise my head and watch the goal post and put the ball. You have uh, three or four phones. What messages have you been receiving? I have it. I have it with them because uh, they, they, they keep on coming. They, they keep on coming. I think that uh, I have to I have to turn one of the phone off. You haven't read any of the messages? No, 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 at all, no, at all. Look, look, they, 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 they still call it. They still call it. Phones are called. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. <laughs> this is Sports Panorama Live on City 97.3 FM. The best 90 minutes of your life. Gather around, gather around. It's another Friday evening. My name is Nathan Quell, sitting in for your regular host, Benjamin Inketia, who's out there somewhere enjoying himself. But like I've been saying always, the time for enjoyment will come to an end. And that there shall be rendering of accounts. Many, many thanks for joining us. Show proudly brought to you by Bell Puka. That's what you need in your life right now. Bell Puka. The ginseng and herbs, they pop. And if you don't have a puka, go to that corner store and grab a puka. When it comes to herbal soft drinks with ginseng extract, insist on bell puka for a proper African recharge. Herbal soft drink with ginseng and low sugar, dear, it be bell puka. It's another quality product from Belacqua and Bell Beverages. Follow at Bell Beverages on Facebook for more info. Bell puka, recharge the puka, recharge the herbal way. And like I said, we will not accept any Puka slander. I have seen some of those tweets. We will not accept Puka slander here. Puka is goated. Shows also brought to us by Game Park Limited. What does wealth mean to you? Do you want to live like a tycoon? Remember, the person who has the mullah is the person who has the power. 
Ghana's newest lottery game draws live on Adum TV at 9 a.m., 12 midday, and 6 p.m. every day. You can visit GamePowerGames.com or dial star 946 hash on all networks. It's very easy. Choose between 0 and 9. Easy to play, easy to win. Make we play this game and make some mola. Nobody beats our odds in Ghana. Not for those below 18. Remember to play responsibly and this game is regulated by the National Lottery Authority. Let me welcome the guest, Coach Christopher Nimli is here, the potions master, the chemist, and the mixologist extraordinaire. Gabby Offer is also here, one Milito, the one and only Gabster. As Nana Tufo always says, forget Francophone West Africa. The whole Anglophone West Africa is the Gabby Milito, I tell you. <laughs> wow. And the mint meister is here. The yowster. The girls that are mint. A reaction when you now mint. Oh, be a mint. Yeah, the German is also here. Guys, good evening. How are you? Good evening, good evening, good evening. Oh, be a mint. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Charlie, later, Charlie. Be a mint, no? Hey, Charlie, 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 Charlie. Ice not your world, man. Yeah, mint. It's all about ice not your world. No, you man. All right, guys. All right, let's get cracking. Chris, let's let's get into the... Uh, let's do the prayer. As usual. Oh, no. Yo, I should have boy. No, I'm bala, I'm bala. I'm going to sow, I'm going to sow, I'm going to sow. You are going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. 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 How you are? I'm going to go. 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 Africa Cup of Nations. Africa Cup of Nations. You know, Tan, what I did, you know, what I did. You are a bad you. Well, no, Joe, I saw only be what I say when you build the bar. Bonafay. Connie and the quality I knew here. And the quality no black, only a leak a hound. Ekebo Bellena and the quality song. Chris Hilton. Chris Hilton. Pajama Cartoon. 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 You more insane one on a label or more than you are. Catch Chris, you think I'm a Schindler. The Schindler, the no more the best. The Schneider, but I got Schindler. Insane one on a label or more than Shagaletti. Mexico be a Melifuji, a Midrofi one, okay? Olifuji, Bamba, and Anabui. I feel Lozano. Well, Dangapadia, Lane, bah, the Schneider, and George Schindler, the Domacho du bah. Chris, you think, won't probably fight. Totty me, be on a dry by. Toti me ni ke kuni yeli aba hawa. Wano nibi kome. Wano smo wa hiyo wa hiyo. Nye twa ye gana ba mi. Nye tu mwa shotu ba. Koni beninye baba wana ke wati me eti hiyo. Ani kimfaisa ame sani ame me ala ame me kuhi. Bogbene na anoni jie. Waba yue yebe. Shidambu. Ni waba lo waba. Gana mamu fen fe klali. Ya yesu ba ame. Amen. Amen. Zero five four nine nine eight six nine nine six zero five four nine nine eight six nine nine six. Many many thanks for tuning in. Between last Friday and now, Charlie, the journey I've been on. So Friday I had all the energy. Saturday evening started going downhill. By Sunday I was somewhere. By Monday I was gone, Charlie. Hey. Charlie, Bema is slow. Nana, okay, 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 okay. You are very fine. You know, so apologies to the listeners if every now and again I cough and all. I've I've had to deal with a few issues here and there. But what is on our menu this evening? <laughs> the Afcon draw was done yesterday in Abidjan at the what's the name of the place? Park the Exposition. Yeah, right? Exposition. Yeah. Exposition. Park the Exposition. Park the Exposition. Let's go. Park the Exposition. Park the Exposition. Coach, just just say Abidjan. Maybe Abidjan will talk about the Park the Exposition. No, but here's the building. The building. No, Jiminy. 
pack de exposition. <rire> pack de exposition. De exposition. Uh -huh. Pack de exposition. 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 Pack Wednesday morning. Yeah, that's the US. 18th, 18th October. Um, so, so those that's that. King Faisal have withdrawn their court case against the Ghana Football Association. We'll find out why. Why have they done that? Why have they done that? We thought they wanted to test the legal regime and they wanted to see things get to a logical conclusion. It looks like they have other ideas. And um, this week, football said goodbye one of the most interesting players to ever grace the modern game. Oh, Eden Hazard. Eden Hazard. Eden Hazard. Mm. Played for Lille, played for Chelsea, played for Real Madrid, and played at international level for Belgium. Oh, sure. And he excited everybody, even though he, didn't, he may not have played for your favorite team. I'm sure you enjoyed watching him. All right, guys, let's start off. Like I said, you can join us on the number 0549-986-996. The AFCON draw was done. The AFCON draw was done yesterday. I'm sure all of us followed the draw, either on television yep. or via social media. And at the end, there were six groups put together by the Confederation of African Football. I don't know. Uh, for those who do not know the groups, I'll run through them quickly. Group A has Cote d'Ivoire, Nigeria, Equatorial Guinea, and uh, Guinea-Bissau. Group B, Egypt, Ghana, mm -hmm. Cape Verde, and Mozambique. Group C, Senegal, Cameroon, Guinea, and the Gambia. Group D, Algeria, Burkina Faso, Mauritania, and Angola. Group E, Tunisia, Mali, South Africa, and Namibia. Group of and death. group F, Morocco, DR Congo, Zambia, and Tanzania. So those are the six groups that came out of yesterday's draw. Guys, initial thoughts on the event, if you saw the event and the draw, and then we can get into the specifics of it. The initial thoughts... Calf, at this point in time, Calf needs to stop being over elaborate when it comes to this kind of event and presentation. Charlie, seven o'clock started on time, and we had to sit and sit and sit and sit till what eight fifteen or so for the draw to be conducted. Why you can just go straight to the point? Introductions, singing, dancing, Patrick Mosepe speech. Then introduction of legends, all are unnecessary. Just go straight to the point. We are here for the draw. So you, once you have the CAF president in attendance, definitely you have to take his word. So you have his speech, introduce the legends, have the draw, then we bounce. And maybe if yeah, you have a musical interlude, then we leave. It was so unnecessarily dragged out and it made the whole, the whole situation very confusing because we were sitting and sitting and sitting and waiting when is the draw happening? When is the draw happening? When is the draw happening? And unnecessary things kept on popping up. Um, there was a singer on, on stage. There was a, a, a dance group on stage. They performed. The singer to, performed. They then, have to excite us. No. The excitement is in the draw. We are here for so the draw. So like side issues. No, side issues can come later. Let's have the main things first. Then side issues can come later. I mean, you can serve an appetizer with the 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 calf president's speech. He he has his his say. Then we move on to the introduction of the legends who will help in the conduct conducting of the draw. Then after that, we have the draw. Then we move. We have a musical interlude. Then everyone leaves. But it was unnecessarily dragged out. A program that should have lasted what thirty minutes max. Lasted over an hour. Thirty minutes. They said we can't do Afghan draw in thirty minutes. Why not? Say one. Say no, one. why not? Why not? Because it was in the evening. It was 7. 7 p.m. Let me show you. Let me show you. The African, by nature, likes... Yes. In, in like quenche, drama. Quenche, drama. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, 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 hey. Stamping on feet on stage or those things. 
it's all well and good, but th- at this point in time, let's okay. get the business done first before we can think of those things. Those side issues that came before the main thing, yeah, okay. it was unnecessarily so, dragged out. That, so, that, so, that's the thing for me. So you didn't, like, for you me. didn't like the flow of the event. Yeah, anyway. but the aesthetics in terms of the, the, the coordination, in terms of uh, how the place was decorated, in terms of the entire presentation itself, it was just brilliant. It was brilliant, but I'm, I'm unfortunately just the, it just got drowned yeah. by that on <laughs> elongated running time. For me, that was the that okay. was the only uh, issue. Aside that, everything on, was on point. It was brilliantly uh, presented. Africa was shown to the world. Um, Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire was shown to the world um, in a perfect way, and I loved it. Okay, all right, guys. Thoughts on the draw itself, guys. So let me start with uh, the Black Stars because mm-hmm. that's our own. Mm, we are gonna need. Yeah. Us. So, <laughs> I mean. When I saw the draw, when I saw that the Black Stars were in Group B mm-hmm. with Egypt, Cape Verde, mm-hmm. and Mozambique. So I take it that the, the teams in Port 1 were, were spread around. Yes. So everybody got So I mean, because we, we got to know that Mozambique and Cape Verde were the first two teams we'll face. Because Egypt was the last one that, that came up. Mm-hmm. So I was excited. But deep down, why? So I wasn't. Why? Because I just remembered what happened in Cameroon. <laughs> Comoros. <laughs> And a similar thing can happen. That's if we don't do our things well. You get it. So, I just want to see how these boys would approach these games. Mm-hmm. Because look, Nathan, if we want to pick up the squad from that AFCON till now, I can tell you that the players, some way, somehow, have gained some bit of experience. Mm-hmm. Because a large chunk of these players have played at that AFCON. And it, it, it was at that AFCON where the new phase of the of the team be, be, began to, to take place. Mm-hmm. When I say the new phase, so the likes of the introduction of the new players, the integration of them, we went to the World Cup. Mm-hmm. We saw what happened. We came up against some bit of experienced teams. You could see the breakdown in terms of our psyche, the way we approach games. And I want to say that, that one is on we, we have noted all these things. And... The next AFCON that will kick off in Cote d'Ivoire mm-hmm. next year, we don't expect to see these things happening. I see. And you see, even if you look at the way the matches have been, have been dished out, if you look at the way the Black Stars will play, Egypt is in between Keverdi and Mozambique. And Mozambique. You get it. So it means that I think we are playing Mozambique first. I think we're playing yes. Cape Verde. I'm not sure. Ke- yeah, just, just yeah, okay. double check first. Yes. So whatever it is, Egypt is group game two. Yeah, exactly. So the point I'm trying to, to say is that we should know how we would approach these games. Because if we don't, because this time around, it's what, 24 teams. And we are going to get the third best ranked teams also mm-hmm. qualifying. I'm sure there will be how many? Four of them. Yes, so four of them. So best four ranked teams who would also join the top two teams who qualify from mm-hmm. each group. And if we are going to, so maybe you, you go play a Mozambique and you don't win. So a draw. You go play okay. Egypt and we lose. Okay, so January tw- um, 14, January 14, 2024. That's on Sunday. That's where um, Ghana plays his first game. It's against Cape Verde. Cape Verde. Okay. Then January 18, 2024, mm-hmm. uh, Ghana plays against Egypt. Egypt. So that's a then Thursday. That's Thursday, yes. So then means- January 2022, uh, January 22, 2024, that's on a Monday, Ghana plays Mozambique. Mozambique. And interestingly, our games are all in the evening. So I'm trying to make that this point that approaching these games is, is very crucial. We should know how we would approach these games. Because mm-hmm. look, let's not forget, Kivet are no small country. Mm-hmm. They had a they had a, re- a really good run at the 2013 AFCON when they got to the quarterfinals. Mm-hmm. And you look at their team, they have a lot of players with Portuguese descent. Mm-hmm. And this is one country that if we don't plan mm-hmm. well, they can Plus really upset us. You are going to approach a game where Egypt, of course, are the favorites in our group, mm-hmm. seven-time Afghan champions. And it means that on paper, they are clear favorites. The approach has to be well done. Mm-hmm. A game against um, Mozambique, that is our final gr- game, where depending on what the, the results we'll get, so maybe we've lost against um, Keverdi, we drew against Egypt, and we have to beat Mozambique. Mozambique. That is where in terms of uh, mentality or how the players will approach this game. Because, look, it's a similar thing that happened with um, in Cameroon when we were going to play Comoros. And everybody thought that, oh, we're going to beat Comoros and qualify. 
and then it ended in a story where we don't we we, we didn't we were not happy to see. We are, I'm, I'm, we are, I don't want to see that happening in that final game. Okay. So Chris Hilton and his players, and let's not go to the tournament without a psychologist this time around. Okay, oh, Kroko <laughs> is the psychologist. He's always done that. You see, so well in my head. <laughs> He's the point, the <laughs> point I'm raising is that it's the same thing we did with what, what when we went to Qatar, and clearly if you look at this Black Stars team, I've, I've I've monitored something about this team, especially look, if you look at our squad this season, a lot of the players are performing at their respective mm-hmm. clubs. Mm-hmm. I take Inaki Williams as an example. He scored about four four goals, yeah. four goals, four goals, two assists in nine games in no nine games this season, and all these goals have come from the right side. What he means is that he's doing something well for Athletic Bilbao. Mm-hmm. Why does he look so ordinary when he comes into the Black Stars? No, Jordan this, is these are so, the, no, so, I'm, I'm coming, coach. I, I'm if, you, if you look at, you finish. Yes. <laughs> Sali, Sali Samed uh-huh. is doing good. Jordan, are you? Jordan is also doing his stuff. You get it. Mohamed Kudus is starring well for West Ham mm-hmm. United. Mm-hmm. Thomas Partey is an integral member in that Arsenal squad. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Perfectly, he will virtually captain the team. Alexander Jiku, He's Daniel Amate are both going good in Turkey, in Turkey. Yeah. Besiktas and mm-hmm. Fenerbahce, respectively. Chris Yutin has a huge job to do to put up a very good 11 mm-hmm. and qualify from this group. Because, look, Nathan, now I wouldn't want to say that qualifying out of, after, out of the group is so easy because the introduction of a third best, whatever, has come in. Mm-hmm. But that is when you can even capit- capitulate and not even. Yeah, it was the same progress, thing the last progress. time. All we had to do was draw or, exactly. or, or, or and, beat and, and uh, and you see, and you see, some, some way, like, I've seen teams who really pick up some positives when they should, I mean, with this introduction of the third, Portugal this, this, did the same thing at the Euros and they won it. Yeah, they won the Euros. They picked just three points out of the games they played in the group games, in the group stage, and they won the Euros. So it, it is up to Chris Hutton and what the GFA people. <laughs> to 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 really approach this that's that's what i want to say about this okay interesting thoughts from gabby chris were you were you expecting egypt no at the end of the day we were, we were, we're to expect we're any bound of the to meet a big we're bound, bound to, meet to meet a big nation a big nation and mm. for me um i was hoping we meet one of our west african brothers ah. i didn't want to meet any north african country mm-hmm. Because they have shown over the years, mm-hmm. or in recent times, that any time we've, we've had to play them, mm-hmm. we either get beat or we don't get a result yeah. at all. In 2017, Egypt beat Ghana 1-0 yeah. Yeah. In, in the group yeah, game. This was in the AFCON in Gabon. Exactly. And I was at that ground. Exactly. So, it was in that game that I think Barbara Man got it, the one that Barbara Man got, got injured. injured. Yeah, it was, it, was yeah. it was that. It was that game. And it was also it was in that game that I saw one of the greatest display of player power. Pa! Chimmy Wally, Chimmy Wally, you like him, but Chimmy Wally can get you. Hey! That episode, Avram Grant was on the bench. I don't know whether I should say that story. Say it, Mo. I'm a fan, I'm a okay. So, so th- in that game, <laughs> so in that say game, we, it, we started it. some Motete. We started some Motete in that game. Some Motete was playing on the left. left. He was on the left. He was on the left. And Andrea Ayu was playing <laughs> through the middle. That's right. Just before kickoff, just before kickoff, so we were sitting. So if you watch the TV angle, we were almost opposite the camera. That's right. So all of a sudden, you know, Andrea, you moves towards someone. So he goes to stand in Samuel Tete's Wait, area, yeah, and Samuel Tete tells him to hand to, over the ball. To like him. no, move, move, in. move. Like I'm get I'm into shape. Because are, yeah. We are in shape. We are about to kick off. So get into shape. And Andrea, you just tells him, like gives him a sign that will oh, come down, come down. I'll go. Then he says, okay, move. Then Andrea is still standing there. And then the game kicks off. Mm-hmm. The game kicks off. So now, someone tends to look at Avram Grant as if, like, he's, he, wants to, he wants to get Avram Grant's attention that, Chief, you've put us all in position. Look at what this guy is doing. And the entire game, every time someone gets the ball, Andrea says, mm-hmm. give me the ball. Mm-hmm. Give me the ball. Chimmy ball, oh boss. Give me the ball. Get ball at me. So Can't at check. the point, someone just stops playing. He stands and turns and looks at Avram Grant. And he's telling Avram Grant, and Avram Grant, to do? Avram Grant, Grant is, is just anything. looking somewhere <laughs> completely. And then, as they played the game, Jan, it was Jan who got injured in yes. that game. Jan pulled yeah, the hamstring. Okay. So as soon as Jan pulls the hamstring, <laughs> pulls the hamstring, yes. Andrew, are you tense? 
He looks at him. Charles Jordan and you. Sorry. To warm up quickly. It's enough. Yes, that's warm up. Warm up. Yeah. Warm up quickly. And clapping, that's clapping. There's no way Jan is coming back into this game. Warm up and get no. onto the pitch. No more play ball. Hey man, the coach watch on the pitch. Is that one of the many stories? Ah, anyway, no. Chris, your thoughts. So we got Egypt. Yeah. We got Cape Verde. Yeah. We got Mozambique. Yeah. I think. Look. Um. There's no easy draw. If you looked at what transpired yesterday, it is clear that whoever wins the AFCON will have to be of a certain caliber. Mm. I look at the entire teams or countries that have qualified. On top of my head, I know of close to 10 teams that are better than us. And, and this tournament had no debutants for the first That's right. time since 2015. Close to 10 teams that I know for sure are better than our team. Ten teams. Yes. Ten. ten. Close to ten. Okay, close to ten. On top of my head, you can mention them. But you don't need to be the best team to go to a tournament and win it. You don't have Can't to be the best team. team. To, when Portugal won the Euros, they were yeah, not they the best team yeah, at all. Nice. Yes, they had Cristiano Ronaldo, they had the likes of <laughs> Nani Amelda and all the but they were not the best team at all. In fact, I I think that the best team actually did not win the tournament. They lost in the final to what? Portugal. Portugal. It was the French team, yeah. their host. I think they were the best team in that tournament. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you don't need to be the best team to win it. But what you can do to improve your chances is to be honest and sincere with, the, with your player selection. Look, honest and sincere. sincere. You see, with your player selection, that is the best you can do to give yourself any chance of winning any major tournament. And I believe for sure that any country who's done that, they've been very clear in their mind when it comes to player selection that it is of a certain standard. So if you don't up to that standard, you don't find yourself in the team. Mm. And we should be bold enough to call time on certain players. Me, hey, I've said call no time more on players. They share. Hey, be sure, be le bashe, be she. I've been saying this thing long ago. Mm-hmm. We will go to this tournament. Stay okay. thinking that. Because you use the word go it. We will see, we we'll go it to this tournament. <laughs> thinking that we still can get some players to go and perform. Players who've gone past their best years. So. Mm. Be an American team. Okay, no No card. <laughs> A better team, not for who are those? Who are those? Oh, they are better team. They are better team. A better team. I just listened to one of the uh, FAP people say, oh, he's been, he's been, he's out of yeah, the team on a temporary basis. Yeah. See, you don't do football like that. Okay, let me get the. They, said, they said they've allowed him to find or to find start talking to teams. That's according to him. Now he is he is according calling the director. teams. He's calling teams to talk to. I never, he's doing what? He's been excused so that he'll find a club. He's been excused. We are in October. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe go. Look, if I'm Chris Uting, he's out of the team. Okay, this is the quote. Harry mm-hmm. um, Asantuchun, GFA comms director. Mm-hmm. Andre Ayu is the captain of the team. He has been with the team since 2007. Mm-hmm. He is not someone you can easily do away with or you can easily replace. However, he has his future to sort out. There is no problem. As if the door is shut on him. It's not as if the journey is over for him as far as the team is concerned. And Andre brings a lot to the team. He's a useful part of the jigsaw. He brings experience to the team. He brings leadership on and off the pitch. He provides loads of inspiration. He provides loads of inspiration <laughs> to some of these young players in the squad. But for now, the coaches feel he should focus on his future, sort out his club issues, then he will be considered okay. going forward. Chris, let me ask you a question. Chachumwe, mo. Chachumwe. What is the name? Chachumwe. 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 I bet here no come on no more. The trans. I bet here no come on. To my prayer camp. We don't do football like that, too. You don't do football like that. Oh no more. No more yet, but I mean more. Yet, but look, look. Oh, Nick, I'm not going to 
Look, let me tell you something. Okay, but Chris, what like if, he rightly said, what if since Andrei, 2007. What if Andrea gets a club this month? This month? Yes. No. Look, because he, from now to the AFCON, we have what? Two? We are in October. Are in October. Yeah. You, have it, you only have November and December. Let's month out of you, out. November, you only have, you only have November and December. Yeah, I'm yeah. just two months. See, look, he's out. He's out of the tournament. He doesn't look, go to the AFCON. He doesn't. Look, unless we don't want... He's been around since when? 2007. 2007. 16 years. No, January this 2007 will be 17 years. I remember. 17 years. January. We should move on. Only me she. We should move on. Because look, if you look at this tournament, we are not going in there as favorite. As favorite. Wow. That is why we should do our things. Such that by the time the other countries will realize that there's Ghana, ah, no more. Watch it, man. Watch it, man. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. They know the money go away to Bachi. They will give it all. Because if by this time, you remember I said something here. Yeah. Chris Shooting should know at least 80% of the of players. The He's taken to the AFCON. By this time. By this time. Okay. Yes, we are not. October is already gone. When the 14th. So it's all, all the 13th, eh? Yeah, 13. Yeah. 13. October is already gone. So if you are a coach and you've been around, you see, Chris Hilton, he's been with this thing for more than two years. Old. Mm -hmm. He's been around for more than two years. Mm -hmm. I maintain he didn't take 100,000 for no work done. Done. He was part of, the, and it is virtually the same technical yeah. team. He was so a technical should, advisor. He should have a clear idea, 80% wrapped up. You feel that is enough time to have studied ah. the team? Okay, Schneiderling. Schindler, Schindler, Schindler. Schindler. <laughs> if you are still calling players like Schindler and Brussels, you know, here on Look, there are players in Midyama who are far better than Schindler and Ambrosius. Nobody going to the tournament mm -hmm. because he's the player of so so and so. He you see, we've been saying this thing for so many times. It's time we move away from that. Mm. Because I have said, we've not beaten any of the top 10 teams in Africa for close to six, seven years. Yeah, check it, check it for me. Yeah, that's true. And it is scary, Nathan Kwao. Because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. in winning the tournament, mm -hmm. these are the, the teams, teams you have, have to beat. beat. Now, if you look at, for example, Algeria and Senegal, the, the last two winners of the AFCON, yeah. yes. are the teams they had to go through. Look at the teams they had Algeria to Algeria had to go through. Who did they have, have to go through? Algeria had to beat Nigeria. They had to beat that Nigeria. That Riyad, 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 Riyad semi-final. Yeah. Beat Senegal yes. in the final. Senegal had to Senegal beat Egypt. Had to beat Egypt. Who did they even beat, beat in the Cameroon. final? Had to beat Cameroon. Cameroon. Oh, no. So, it can't be a You have to be able to beat. And we've not done so in close to seven years. So, I'm, I'm going to ask myself, what exactly can we do? To try and put an end to that because issue. You, you can't dodge anybody if you want to. You need to go with our best players. I sit here today. I still don't understand why Chris Hilton has not made any effort to go and talk to the likes of Jeffrey Schlopp and Alfred Duncan. Look, I watched Alfred Duncan last week against Napoli. Yeah. I know. Fentina and Napoli. What? Look, if you are playing against uh, Cameroon, there is Inguisa. Anguisa. Mm, Anguisa. Cameroon actually have a new chap. The one plays for Brighton. Baleba. Yes. Baleba. 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 Yeah. Super player. Look at this Brighton. We were watching him last week. No, no, the guy left, in midfield. Left and right and you need. I told you he will cost more than Moise Caicedo. Because he is um, yeah, he dexterous. Can, yeah. Use both. Both. Yeah. And then look, look, at, look at the quality Cote d'Ivoire has. Adingra. Uh, Adingra. One mm -hmm. name. And Jeffrey Schlopp come in trouble. And you will not go to and talk to Jeffrey Schlop and move on. But you go and call Shingla <laughs> and Brussels. We are not going. You see, 
we should stop this kind of, is it kind of, kind of, as if corner, I you bluff for me. See, tomorrow, tomorrow, stop these things. Coffee, 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 coffee. <laughs> stop these things. Look, because you're talking about quality, Morocco. Morocco has come with Amabad, the one who plays for PSG. Ashraf Hakimi. We saw all of them at the World Cup. Bring Hannibal. If there's any trophy, is bringing on If any, if there's any trophy that the Moroccans want to win, because of the sort of dominance they've had, is this? I mean, Hakimi mentioned it. He said it. Ah, he was very bold yesterday. We want to win it. And they are going to give it their best. You see, people will be coming to the and tournament to think, think about with their very best. Hmm. And we'll be having Ketokreku if the court doesn't come to our aid to rescue the situation. Play football. No, if your selection, he's been doing the selection. He has said it. He's never gone back on that. He will be doing the selection. Baba Bad Motri. The Kake Abuchi Hale. Look at what he. Baba Bad Man is playing well. No more. We just saw. Who, who they bring recently who? in Kumasi? They bring uh, who did we play in Kumasi? <coughs> Central, Africa, Central Africa Republic. We saw. Come, Kobole, no three, no three, no three, no. We go no follow, 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 follow back on ya. Here no come back. So for me, what I'm saying is, Nathan, I know of close to ten countries mm -hmm. that are better than us. That is why, even in the draw, we were put in port one, in two. port two. There were how many teams in each port? I think five or six. Or six. Six, six teams. teams. So in the port one, six teams automatically. Those who were in port two with, I know of close to three, four of them that are better. So roughly 10 teams are better than us. So the only thing we can do to help our cause is to make sure <clears throat> that we go with our very best. Chris Hutton, you see, Anytime he calls the team, he just put the team out there. No explanation. Nothing. Has he ever done that since he took over? He's never done that. At least. And when Zeke O'Connor was the head coach, he puts out his list and he comes and defends his list. People like you, people like you, you go to the press and ask Zeke, why is this player in there and this player is not there? CK will explain. But since Chris Hutton came, Chris nobody has given him the opportunity <laughs> to do that. CK. So he'll call Shingler, <laughs> Schneiderlin, uh, 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 Hmm. Abdul Moumin. He plays with Osime and Ko. Alfred Duncan. Duncan me. Atobo. Unake ball at We are playing. Because you cannot say with Kudus, we are going to win it. <laughs> if you go to the tournament and there's Duncan and there's Pate and there's Ashmero and Ko, if Pate is not well and you have Duncan and Jeffrey Schlop, you don't panic. And Kudus, you don't panic. Ashmeru, you don't panic because there is proper depth. Quality wise, there's depth in our team. But when you are going with Shingla, uh, Ambrosius, Isayaku, make many shaku for Kamiya of the team, how? Okay, at least. You see, that boy, <laughs> he, we should wait and allow him to develop. To, to develop. He's not developed, though. You see him recently, me never hear Lester. He just try ten minutes, ten minutes, ten minutes. He try no go, if he no go no go, he just me. So it, it's about being sincere. So look, like I said, by now eighty percent of the the core of the team should have been known. Okay. And he should create proper. Core. As for the captain of the Black Stars, I mean, I'll say it. Pate captains the team to the Afcon. The day, one dalishi, no more. He wale ebashi. Unless you don't want to be truthful to yourself. His father at the age of 16 was selected when we won the Afghan 82 in Libya. If you take the day, you are blocking the chance of another 16 year old. He himself, when he was brought into this team, he was 17. Look, 
The day me fit a lie ya World Cup 2010 only. Sabato lie kissy. So if he took the position of somebody, the time has come. Look, he has saved Ghana. Nobody should get me wrong. Shit, we believe you all the day and you be sure, be bashe, be leche. These are three things that mean different. But when it is at the time, the time is look. He's he, he's done it. We should look beyond him, prepare this team, and let go and make Ghana proud. <laughs> nobody should collect any money. It oh, is time we ah, no. It is time we tell the players. What is the meaning of go no, and no. serve Ghana, and Ghana will reward you. Nobody oh. should collect any money. Yes, oh, take no, care no, of them. No, I'm unfair. coming. That's unfair. Give them look. Give them. Take care of them. Their hotel, everything. Give them. But don't go and be paying appearance fee, thirty thousand dollars. Then Comoros will go and eliminate the black. Then they take the thirty thousand dollars. We want to talk about We can't even assess our own investment Haircut. because of bad, bad management. Haircut. Certain mm -hmm. things I want to do with, with you with can't do best. I can't do it. Haircut. We say on Kongon Fili. Waka ya jaja shikaha me. Management mm -hmm. members, I just can't be well -well. Because we are under IMF. Mm -hmm. We, we cannot be doing such things. Yeah, Black show people. We have rewarded. Look, mm -hmm. We rewarded. Uh, we gave them a reward when they play second. Okay, and that President Mahama. Yeah. We gave uh, them cars. Cars and money. Wasn't that Jeep Cherokee? We gave it to that's that. That's, that's yeah. what Titanic yeah. gave them. Uh, the one that yes. um, um, Abraham Grant was so shocked that he finished second and he still got a Jeep Cherokey. Can you imagine? He was so shocked. Like, he was shocked. Yeah. Who? Abraham Grant. He was shocked. He was shocked. Abraham Grant. He was shocked. Oh, he was a very good friend, Abraham Grant. Hey, 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 hey. Don't say it. He didn't okay, I will say it anywhere I didn't say for it. something to get missing. I, okay, I will say, say that. We haven't said so it. We should, you see, so we should stop that. Because look, Abraham Grant. Don't you want to mention Avram Grant stories in this town? I can't get Avram Grant stories. You might be excited. If we don't stop that, <laughs> and we allow these players to take us for ransom, mm -hmm. they will go and they will collect the appearance fee and they will do nothing. We have already been giving them money for no work done. I had 100,000 more your World Cup. You understand? Mm. They took hundred thousand dollars per appearance fee. What? Oh, yeah, what did they? They didn't give us anything in return, but heartbreaks. Tell them, at this time we need to be patriotic. Oh, no, see, this is where I push back. No, coach. don't push back. <laughs> don't push back. You see, when I, I'm not saying they are not patriotic, but when you splash huge sums of money on them and we don't get nothing in return, as a taxpayer, what? Why are they supposed to give me? They're supposed to go there, play, and give me joy. Mm -hmm. They get what they want. I don't get what I want. So there should be a middle ground. Yes, and the middle ground is tie it to his, uh, incentives. That's so what I'm saying. If you make it past the, the group stage, there's, an there's a package for you. for you. If you make it to the quarterfinal, there's a package yeah, for that's you. That's what I'm saying. If you make it to we the semifinal... We cannot be giving appearance uh, fee. Chris is we saying cannot that. be giving appearance fee for AFCON. Mm -hmm. He's He's saying saying that that AFCON I think it was a similar We took Wakaso. A trouble in a country. He, 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 he took up. You remember? He took close to $25,000 for no work done. He took the money. So what I'm saying is, you don't give appearance fee for the AFCON. Mm -hmm. We are going. Your hotel, everything, your food, everything is catered for. If you go past the group stage, this amount. That is the way it should be done. But people, for be, uh, we are giving them the honor, the privilege to play for Ghana. And we are saying that by calling them to just come and play for Ghana, mm. if two two years ago it was twenty five thousand, but twenty five, sure. yeah. Oh. All right, st still listening to sports pan <laughs> panorama. I don't know, yeah. What do you want? Yeah, you just want? a quick one. Just a quick one. You see, running through the groups, yeah, it's pretty easy to call um, the top two teams that are most uh... likely. To qualify from the group, sure. Yes, will happen. Oh yeah, they are bound to happen. It, it always yeah, happens. They are seven to group. qualify. Yeah. So we look at Group A: Cote d'Ivoire, Nigeria. Straightforward. I'm, I'm, Equatorial Guinea, Guinea Bissau. Yeah, I don't see them I'm progressing at the expense of Cote d'Ivoire and Nigeria. Um, group C: Senegal, Cameroon. Yes. Um, Gambia and Guinea. Yes, they have some very good players in there. You look at Guinea. Um, there's Elias Moriba. There's still Naby Keita. That is, is if he isn't hit. At the time the tournament begins, you look at um, Gambia. There's um, Seru um, Jurassi. He leads the Bundesliga um, top scorers chart. He has 13 goals mm -hmm. in seven games. 
He plays for Stuttgart. Very good striker. Um, then you look at Group D. Algeria, Burkina Faso, Mauritania, Angola. Between Angola and uh, Burkina Faso, it's a bit um, difficult to call, but I'll still pick um, Burkina Faso to qualify mm -hmm. at the expense of uh, Angola and Mauritania alongside um, Algeria. Then Group C, then, then Group E. I think that's the group of death. Um, because you have Mali, Tunisia, South Africa, and Namibia. Take Namibia out, then you have um, Tunisia, Mali, and South Africa. Yeah, very good teams um, all across. That's why I pick that group as the group of death. Then Group F, Morocco, DR Congo, Zambia, Tanzania. I think Zambia, they have a very young team. This is the first time they've qualified to the AFCON since, what, 2017, 2015? So I think um, this is a stepping stone for them. I, 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 don't, I don't see them as a team that will make a very deep run in the, in the tournament because um, the third best team can qualify to the next round. They might just sneak in, in there. And yeah, you move on to Group B. Egypt, Ghana, yes, yeah, standout favorite to qualify from the group. Then, no, then Comoros, I join. You can say Egypt favorite. <laughs> Let's wait and see yeah, then, how we do our things. Yes, because then, don't be surprised. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What's then what you I look at the Ghana squad. I look at the Ghana squad. And yes, for me, the day you shouldn't be in the team. Oh, right. Actually, in the team. Actually, a, a guy like Jordan Ayu um, shouldn't start, but he should be in the team. Ideally, he should, no, he be, in should be in the team. He's because, playing for Crystal Palace. Yeah, you're playing for Crystal Palace in the EPL. You're playing consistently. So you, you need to be rewarded. And he's one of the most experienced players in our team. So if you take him along and you don't start him, but he's part of the, the squad, I am okay with it. But... Looking at Jordan's personality, we need a comfortable. Look at the tab bench, evacuate confusion. Uh -huh. That's, that's, that's the, the problem. Point. That's the point I'm driving at. Like, if would he be comfortable be playing as a backup? No, but the point is that if you are Black Star's head coach, you should be bold enough to make decisions. Uh -huh. If he's not comfortable with that decision, then drop him. Okay. Then drop him because the last time we did so well at the AFCON, um, 2015, we went to the final. Before that, 2010. It was a very young squad that we took. We took a bunch of uh, under 20 players from the we 2009 did. squad. Mm -hmm. And we went all the way to the man. final. And we lost to that Mohamed Gedo strike to Egypt in that final. We have a similar group of players. Situation like that. very young. Look at the group of players that are coming through. The stream of players that are coming through. All of them under 23 no, players. No, no, no. All of them under 23 I players. Know. So you need to unleash them. Just give them a guy like Pate to play alongside. Well, guide the Mohamed. No, just guide them. Guide Alexander Jiku. Those guys, just have them play alongside th those young boys. And I promise you, with just enough discipline, those guys will get us to another final and possibly win as a long-awaited outcome. But if you bring in players that achieve us, uh, how can Kobo Lem, that, Prima that, Dola, that, 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 that confusion, confusion elements or confusing traits about them. No, you have to stamp it out as soon as possible. Mm. Because looking at how Chris Hutton's style of play goes, you need discipline. In defense and in everything that you, you, you do, you need discipline. The transition. And you need, exactly. The transition. The counter-attack, for instance. So you need direct players. And once you have Kudus, Kudus is not the most direct player. Yeah. And that is why I am against starting Jordan alongside Kudus. No, I'm flanking with Osma Bukari. Me, oh, no, I've been talking. Joseph Pence, I can be a man. Yeah, because you can't have so that if Inaki Williams moves, no, no, then you give him the pass. Jordan, back with for 360. As a man has said, oh, has no. observed this and stated this, I think at least on two occasions. I've, 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 I've bad them. I've said that. It. He, he would be he's very frustrating as a striker when you are constantly making runs and the, and ball. the ball is not being fair to you. Exactly. And Yaki Williams is that type of striker who is constantly making runs in behind the defense. And because we have players that do not complement his style, that is why he is struggling to score goals. This okay. season, nine games, he has four <coughs> goals and two assists. Assist. How is it that this guy can't translate his form? To, to the man of last time. can't even get a chance to shoot a goal. Mm -hmm. And please, I, I'll say this again. This is final. I've said this before and I'll say it again. No one should give the boy pressure. Or, for who is giving him pressure? Williams. No one should give him pressure. I'm the guy has played just nine games for Ghana. I, I, and he hasn't I, scored. I listened to... Talking about that, I was somewhere. Jordan, are you has played eight, <coughs> over 80 watching. games for Ghana. He doesn't even have 20 goals. He, doesn't, he has just 20 goals for Ghana. So please, Inyaki Williams has played just nine games for Ghana. I, I'm just talking about... Don't know, give me pressure. We, we, I have to go for a break. I'll just say this before we go. I was watching a program somewhere, a TV program. I was somewhere. I can't remember where I was. 
and I was, when I was watching, there were these guys on whatever network it was. And they were talking about the black stars in Inyaki. <laughs> Hey, the person on the set said that Inyaki Williams was struggling to score for Ghana because he said he wasn't feeling Ghanaian. You remember what Inyaki Williams yeah, his said? his interview. In, his interview, when he said he didn't feel Ghanaian enough to, you know, come and play for the Black Stars. And the person, <laughs> the person said, Inyaki should apologize to Ghana <laughs> before he would start scoring. Know, Charlie. In, initially, when I heard the comments, I got upset. Then I laughed. Then I started to feel sad <laughs> for the person on TV yeah. spewing such ignorance. I could not believe what I was watching. That the person said, because Inyaki Williams said that, he, does not he feel didn't Ghanian. feel Ghanaian. That is why he wasn't he didn't struggling. Feel Ghanian then. then. That is why he's That's why he's struggling to score and that he should come and apologize for to, saying that he should come and apologize to Ghanaians. And after he apologizes, I'm now Ghanaian. I'm feeling. I'm now feeling. Yeah. I'm, 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 yeah. After he apologizes, he will start to score. I looked at Ow. the television. Uh, I just shook see, my head. See, the orientation. The, the orientation in Yaki Williams comes from. It's all about honesty. They are straight. They are direct, and they are very He's forward. Sincere. He's sincere. Jordan Ayew has ninety. Has played ninety-two games for Ghana. He scored twenty goals. Inyaki Williams has played nine games for Ghana. He hasn't scored a goal. And boys are piling pressure on him. Please, let the guy relax. All right, so this is the Sports Panorama on City 97.3 FM. Show proudly brought to us by Bell Puka and Game Park Games. We'll take a very quick break. When we come back, we have a lot more for you. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Ghana. Are you ready? Game Park Limited, the newest lottery company in Ghana, introduces another exciting game called Pick One. From Friday, 15th of September, 2023, choose your favorite number from 1 to 36. Stick and get ready for the excitement as we unveil the lucky number. Prepare yourself to unleash even more Mula by staking from one Ghana city to 350 Ghana cities and win 26 times your stake on the amazing Pick One game. Play by dialing star 946 hash on all networks via our website or download the Game Park app on W www.gameparkgames.com Watch our live draws on Adum TV at 9am, 12 noon and 6pm daily. Game Park More Mula, more power This game is regulated by the National Lottery Authority, not for persons under 18 years. Play responsibly Welcome back. Still listening to Sports Panorama on City 97.3 FM. My name is Nathan Kwao. Sitting in for Benjamin in Ketia, um, Yareje Mingta, uh, Gabi Offer, and Coach Christopher Nimli are my wingmen this evening. Let's go to some of the comments. Isko Kabna, uh, Depay, uh, a prescriber at the Half Asini Government Hospital. Hey, babe. Says, I played the Black Stars, go with to the tournament. To make a proper claim this time, but with this Infusionim selection, we'll continue to lack depth and then heartbreaks in Kwan. Koba GH in Impraeso constituency says, For me, if they don't want to be part of the Afghan squad, he should just join Kotoko to earn supporters' sympathy uh, for adding a local player to the squad. <laughs> says, My only advice to him. This one says, They'll send Dede and say, Look at England, they are always picking Calvin Phillips. Interesting. Alvinho from a consumable send that. At least he's been playing recently. Southgate and on top of that, one he's playing recently. He's played some minutes recently. And on top of that, he has a team. He's in a team setting. Even that he should not be in the English team. He's only Sahak. He's in a team setting. What Prowse is not in the English team. Southgate is a confused coach. Southgate. All right, Lambert from Dodoa says teams. The teams in Ghana's group should be scared of us. But with the current performance of the Black Stars, I'm sure our opponents will be licking their lips by now. Yeah, this one says, Good evening, guys. Seven since I started following the Black Stars, they have been good at Jama, um, not winning trophies. Ivory Coast is just nearby. They should go and do the needful. Imano Dewona Okla says, Team Panorama, I agree with Coach's stance. It's true that AIU is not in the best shape. As for Ked, the least said about him, the better. Hilton should be very careful and he should do the needful as coach of the team. Skillers from La. 
He's asking what happened to Daniel Kofi Tre after the World Cup. I think injury. He had a very yeah, terrible injury. injury. He had an issue. <clears throat> so yeah, that's that's the for him. It's clearly he's out of the tournament. Yeah, he's by now he's not started playing. He can't play. He shouldn't go. Kofi Wayo in Santa Maria says, simply put, we are not serious with football. Remind coach that the weather is hilarious. Okay, uh, Chelinsa from La says, now who says we are going to qualify with Egypt if we play the brand of football we are playing now, Anka? The last performance at the last AFCON Poye. Have we watched Capo Verde in recent times? We fordo the most basic stuff and it will yield as the most basic results. All right. Ne Tojo from Tema New Town, Black Stars of Ghana. People, should we have high expectations? Um, I don't know. And this one says it's um oh, it's from our very good friend Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Adam says, I've got my puka beside me, and I'm paying rapt attention. We are making my Friday. As I'm recovering, speedy recovery, Adam. Yeah, um, man. Rest and drink more soup. Yeah. Drink more soup. <laughs> in addition to the puka, you need more soup in your system. Uh, Moses Kofi Noy says GFA should do the needful and correct the abatted image. Safo, who's in Spring Tech, says so. Chris Hilton wants to tell us he hasn't seen Schlop's form. I rest my case. Uh, Schindler, you can, yeah. Schindler. <laughs> this one says I agree with uh, what Countryman Songo said about the draw. We should not underestimate any country. Question uh, says Arsenal one, Man City zero. Arsenal three, Man United one. Just to remind your listeners that we own Manchester. Okay, interesting. This one says those comparing some Intebe players to the best dribbler ever to grace the Premier League should stop that. I hear names like Salah. All should stop. My heartfelt condolences to all the oppressed. Well, the Black Stars, they are currently in the United States. They are prepping to play two friendlies. American buggers. Yeah, the American buggers. They are prepping to play two friendlies, uh, one against Mexico, or as uh, the natives would say, Mexico, and one against the United States. So far, 21 players, I think, are in camp. Yeah. Some of this withdrew. Yeah, four players. Four players withdrew due to injury. Um, Gabby, you have your eye on, on that. Mm -hmm. The team has been getting ready. For you as, as a journalist, as an observer, what, what's the biggest thing you are looking out for from these friendly games? Is it the result? Is it the performance? Is it both? What are you looking out for? Well, I think that the friendlies have come in a really good time for Chris Hilton. Um, you know, there's talk about Hilton is yet to face a top-ranked team in Africa, a top-ranked team in the world, a top-ranked whatever. After uh, his tenure, he's not actually faced that. But this is the first test for him to play against Mexico. Hey, Mexico themselves are, are coming into this game on the back of two draws. Mm. So they played a 2 0 draw with Australia and also played a 2 0 draw with Uzbekistan. Mm -hmm. And they sacked their coach not, not too long, Diego Coca, I believe, I think, uh, due to some bad results that came in. So they, are, they, they, they have a new coach in, in Jaime Lozano. And I think that it's a really good test for the Black Stars. I think this, this is one game that gives the platform or the opportunity for Chris Hutin to, to test some other players. Yeah, I made a good point about giving opportunities to, to the young uh, players in the squad. And if you look at the core of the team, a lot of them are young. This time around, they are playing on a very good pitch. Mm. They are not playing on any bad pitch, so they, 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 they get that opportunity to, to exhibit the kind of football they want to play. Mm. You get it. And I'm saying it has come at a really good time for Chris Hutton <laughs> because after these two friendlies, we have the World Cup qualifiers to play. And we are going to face countries in Africa who have actually given the Black Stars some bit of headache. The likes of Comoros, Central African Republic, who their head coach, Rahul Savoy, left a very damning assessment on our team <laughs> after we qualified. That he wished that, he wished us, uh, what happened? He, he said what? I is wish... That, is that the same thing, I, thing happened to us? the same thing happened <laughs> so, so, so I'm saying that, <clears throat> that test against Mexico, I'm looking at a lot of things. Because look, Nathan, if we beat this Mexican side, in terms of psyche with the players, I think that it will do a lot of good to them. Because, mind you, Chris Hutton is yet to lose two wins and two draws in four games. And coming up against Mexico are currently ranked, I think, 21st. So in the FIFA ranking. And that's a huge test, test for, 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 for Chris Hutton to, to tell us what he wants to do with this team. There's been so much talks about his approach to his football identity, the way he mm. wants to play his... I'm still confused with what exactly he wants to do with this team. 
Because to be honest, if you are if you are a team that would want to see deep, right, and play on the counter or play on the break, mm-hmm. in that four games we've played, I've not seen a proper transition from when we see deep and we are trying to hit players or you are trying to hit teams on the counter attack. The last game against Central African Republic, you could see moments when we get a ball, we try to hit it long for Inaki Williams and it's not working. Mm. This time around, these things must be corrected in these friendlies. It's a friendly. But I would want to, to, to see these players, I would want to tell Chris Uten that they should look at this match in a different way because mm. it's, it's a huge, you're not going to get two friendlies, like two good friendlies against Mexico mm-hmm. and US. And mind you, they are, they are, they are two host, two, two countries who are going to host the World Cup. So I think that it's a really good, good, good game for for Chris Uten. and I'm looking forward to the the eleven, the starting eleven he's going to put out there, because from now to 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 when the Afcon will kick off, every details must be paid attention to. I mean, everything he's going to do on the pitch from now to when the World Cup is really, really important. Proper scrutiny. You get it. <clears throat> and if I look at the squad he's called now, if I would want to to pick out coach. The, the players coach mentioned so the likes of Jeffrey Schlopp, um, Jesse, Duncan and Jesse. Duncan. I don't see any ah, player Charlie. anywhere, and probably some players who are performing here on the local scene. Yeah, there is a there, there is what Mediama is left back, Amidu Fatal, Why who is in the squad. I think no, he's there. Okay, he's in, he's there, he's part is of the he, squad. He's I think gone with Mediama, yes, uh, he's part of it. Is he, is no, he he's part of the black, he's part of okay. the black star squad, mm. but I don't, I don't think that he'll play in that Mediama because the Mediama game is tomorrow, and I'm really impressed because he's a good left back. What I want to say is that I don't see any player anywhere who is at the moment doing exceptionally well that has been exempted. So this is the moment for Hilton to build his team properly heading into the World Cup qualifiers and the AFCON. <clears throat> so I'm really looking forward to what this game or what, what, what that game against Mexico will do for and, 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 and also the USA. Mm, yeah. That's yeah. Quick what what That's are you quick looking out for? I'm looking out for a build up on um, what I saw or what I picked up from that um, game against Liberia and that game against Central Africa Republic where consistently I saw our central defenders trying to hit the ball long, trying to be a bit more direct in terms of how we attack we attack the opposing teams. And um, and this Nyame's goal against Liberia, it was off Nicolas Opoku's long ball um, from deep. And that more like the modern style of, of play, trying to catch um, opponents from the back, trying to be a bit more vertical and direct with the way you attack. So I'll be looking out for how efficient we are trying to play play out that scenario where I'll be looking out for the defenders that can consistently hit the long pass, mm. that are a little bit comfortable with the ball at their feet because that is what we need. And like I said, Chris Hutton's ball, um, style of um, play it's not the most eye-catching. It's not the most eye-pleasing. And he's more about the result, the result, the result. So I'll be looking out for things that will make me comfortable knowing that we are going into this tournament, the 2023 AFCON, with a team that wouldn't excite me in terms of how they play, but they will do more than enough to get the job done and pretty much do a Milovan Raiva one, one goal project in 2010 we moved all the way to the final, and maybe, just maybe, we might get, uh, we might move a step further and end up winning the title. So those are the things that I'll be looking out for, especially when some of our better passes from the back, especially the defenders, wouldn't be available. Someone like Mohamed Salisu, he's injured. He's he's not part of the squad. Mm-hmm. He's a better passer of the ball as as a defender. I'll be looking out for how. I think his replacement is the Jerome Opoku guy. Jerome Opoku, yeah, yes, yeah, defender from Besiktas. Left foot, and he's six foot five, six foot, six foot five, five and, and a half. So yeah, that'll be that'll be what I'll be looking out for. And I'll be looking out for how we set up defensively. And I'm emphasizing on defense, 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 because Chris Hilton is a defensive coach. He's a defensive minded coach. So if you can't excel on that end of the pitch, that's a worry. Going forward, looking at how we've played, me, I'm not surprised. That we struggle to create chances, we struggle to uh, score goals. I'm not surprised. That is Chris Hilton ball all this while. From Brighton, Nottingham, um, Newcastle, and uh, um, t- um, temporary basis. That's how his teams um, play. That's how he sets up his teams to play. So I'm not too bothered about the offensive pass. I'm bothered about what happens defensively. 
and I've consistently said that looking at the raft of options that we have defensively, Ghana should set up with a three-man back line and have wing backs because having a three-man back line not only helps us defensively to set up, but it also complements the play style of our full backs who aren't necessarily full backs but are wing backs. So you have Gideon Minson. He is not a full back. He can he does well more, a, more than enough to hold his own as a full as a full back. But to best utilize his skill set, use him as a wing back. It's the same thing with Ali Ali Dusebu. It's the same thing with Tariq Lamte, who unfortunately has missed yet another game after the World Cup. So I think th those are the things I'll be looking out for. The defensive shape and how we try to attack from, from deep in terms of okay. the long balls. Okay. Th those let, are the things I'll be looking out Before you come to coach. So I, when you were speaking, something just struck me. The game against Central African Republic, mm -hmm. I realized something. You know, that game, Andre did not start. <laughs> and I realized that the players played really free. They felt a bit liberated. No disrespect Agile. to him. No. Agile. No disrespect to him. <laughs> and another thing that I monitored, you see, y'all talked about transition, right? To release the ball quicker. Mm -hmm. Elisha was so there was a part where Jonathan Ayu had a ball and he was supposed to, Elisha Wuzu was in like acres of space. He was mm -hmm. supposed to just release the ball and then hit Central African Republic on the break. Mm -hmm. But clearly he was holding on to the ball. Mm -hmm. These are some of the things that he needs to be talking to the boys to, to stop doing this things. I see. Yeah, you I see. see. Chris, for me, what I will be looking out for, mm -hmm. I agree with everything you all said. Mm -hmm. Defensively, we need to be strong because it is proper defending that win you major tournament, mm -hmm. not by heart defending. So let's defend <laughs> as a unit. My main worry mm -hmm. will come during the transition. There are times where you don't need to touch the ball more than four times to be punishing the opponent. Mm -hmm. We are defending, we win the ball, pop to pate, pate, sis, pop, then pop, then pop. Just four touches. One, two, three, four. We are in the final third. That is how best we can utilize Inaki Williams. Even Antoine Semenyo, mm. Osman Bukhari, Joseph Pencil. Okay? This is how best we can utilize these guys. You mentioned that and my mind goes back to that game we played away in, to in, Angola. in Luanda. That equalizer. The equalizer to bam. generated by all the substitutes. Exactly. From Ashimero to Joseph Pen to, to, to uh, 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 Naki, Pencil, Pencil to Naki Williams, Naki Bannon. We were putting the ball in the back of the net. How did we even go um, get to the final in 2010? One touch. Transition, transition football. play. Kodja 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 to Kodja 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 wins it. Ajima Bedu, Kodja Samoa, bam. Set pieces. They fly the ball. Kodja Samoa flies the ball. Asamwajan heads it in. Ghana beats Nigeria. So what I'm interested in mm. is what we actually do with the ball when we have it. Mm. That is where now I'll know that Masaud, Didi Dramani, Mr. Boatin, and Mr. Hilton mm -hmm. are working. But if there are too many turnovers in the game against Mexico and US, where the pitch is proper, they're going to be playing on proper pitches. Mm -hmm. Proper pitches where ball control shouldn't be a problem. So therefore... So, so in that environment, we should see uh, the quality of the team. We should see the quality of the team. If you're going the back three wing backs, of course, in the middle of the pack, there should be party. There should be Salis, and there should be what? A certain Mohamed Kudus. Yes. Then, Inaki Williams. Look at the, then, after some time, then you can maybe sacrifice the win <coughs> backs and bring in Osma Bukhari, Joseph Pencil, who continuously go on. But Pencil can deputize as a win back because he used to play as a defender during his younger days. I'm interested in what we do with the ball. So, for you, you want to see style, style, approach, approach tactics, tactics, everything. Properly it's not the result per se. Not the result. Ah, look, oh, the I'm not looking at the result team. per se tomorrow. I want to see how the team plays. Because that is what now will now convince me that we are building something to go and cause a major upset at the AFCON. Mm. If we win the AFCON, it will be an upset. That's the way I see it. You understand? So let's wait and see. Ah, look. But you see, we are here. I'm, I've, I've heard certain things. <laughs> I just want to warn them. I don't know whether it is true. Mm -hmm that the scoreline for the game is already out. 
I don't, I don't. Look, oh, oh, are you I'm that? telling you, I've heard certain You mean things. against Mexico? So you, so you are saying that they should go and play the game in a very competitive way. Yes, game. I'm hearing that. And, and coach, what's the score line? I get 3-1. Against? Against Ghana. <laughs> ah, I don't want to believe that. You see, they should stop these things. These are rumors. I don't no, know. No, no, that is why I'm, I'm using this distinguished platform to warn them. The Fair same scoreline came out against Liberia. For the boys, Yao yeah, I Minta. Mean, yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, we know. <laughs> boys, and Boys, and Boys, yo. Against Liberia, the scoreline came in the morning. Akeche. 3 1. Akeche. I'm a Panakani. I'm a Tabole. You hit on me. Friendly match. You hit on me. We want to see our team in a certain <laughs> way. Yeah, was he a born in Nibreso? You're born in Nibreso. Young King, you're a born. Where we'll be hosting the World Cup. Mm -hmm. the, the next time. Japan nation. Mm -hmm. no, <laughs> the World Cup that we'll all go to. No. Of course. Ah, okay. Okay. Ah, okay. Play in a very competitive manner. For me, I'll be shocked <laughs> if the 3 1 I'm hearing happens to happens on Sunday. What if Ghana wins 3 1? The more I get 3 1. We are the only legit 3 1 against Ghana. I get 3, <laughs> three 1. No one won't be fine. No more way I hear. <laughs> Oh man, a few updates. So Asante Kotoko, I think they won their league yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. They won yeah, their Se second yeah. win of the yes. season for Ogum. Yes. Um, Carlo Watara. Yeah, Carlo. Second goal too. Yes. So second Carlo Watara goal. In the um, Euro the qualifiers, qualifier. yes. Let me go through. Oh, Holland, Vietnam, or Dubai. Oh, cool, man. Yes. Ronaldo just called. Brace again. Yeah, so Ronaldo has two. Cristiano Ronaldo has two. Portugal, Portugal that, three. Yeah. Slovakia one. That's what's happening there. Um, France are leading the Netherlands by two goals to zero in Holland. Mm. In Holland, Kylian Mbappe has scored twice. It looks like Ronald Koeman, he will get sacked very oh, quickly. Oh, he says he has a grudge with uh, Grafenberg because he, he told Grafenberg to go and play with the under-21. Yeah, then uh, Grafenberg refused. So Man, he didn't just... call him because of that, because he has a beef with Grafenberg. And you are losing. But you have to cut him some slack. He's missing anyway. 11 uh, regulars. Okay. Austria 1, Belgium 3. King Luca is on the score sheet. He was assisted by Jeremy Doku. Oh, Charlie. Charlie. You're going to put Vult Vegas. Can you win the game? <laughs> Vult Vegas. Vegas? No, <laughs> Zou couldn't check. Zou Kaye. Vult Vegas. So, those are some of the updates coming in. In terms of friendlies, let me give you another... Um, Another game as it is happening. Well, Japan beat Canada by four goals to one. And England are currently beating Australia by one goal to nil. It's goalless between Mali and Uganda as we speak. So, like I said, England are leading Australia by one goal to nil. Oli Watkins. Mm -hmm. Oli Watkins is um, he's the one who scored. Assisted by ex-Aston Villa player Jack Grealish. For those who had forgotten, Grealish was an Aston Villa player. He ended up two to between Saudi Arabia and Nigeria. Yeah, that was, yeah. A, that was a good game. I that see. Game. <clears throat> How did the Nigerians fare? I, I think they, they didn't fare bad. But they, they were terrible against um, set pieces yeah. because it was the free kick that led to the, Saudi the, goals the, were all free the, kicks. the equalizer. In the, in the dying minutes of the game, once they scored, what, two minutes later, the game was over. I see. So Nigeria will need to beware yeah. of set, set pieces. pieces. They need it to be like better. This iteration of Nigeria is a very top heavy team. They have a lot of attackers. Yeah. But on the defensive it's side. It's just like back in the day, this, Senegal. This, this team they didn't they didn't start with Osimen. Mm. Um the striker who plays for Nottingham Forest, what's his name? Oh one two didn't start. So it means that they have a lot of squad depth, they are fine. Mm, I see. Day 23. We'll be wrapping it up in a bit. But guys, this week, um, Aiden Hazard. Aiden Hazard said goodbye to professional football. Oh, be Hazard. 32. No, came in, I joined. Don't know, I don't know the hype. But Aiden Hazard was a very good player. Oh, no. It's a chance if you could bear your ball. It's a chance Madrid. Oh. Oh, no, Madrid. They're new players. It's a boy in Madrid. Chris, are you saying that Hazard was not a good player? No, I'm not saying he wasn't a good player. Mm -hmm. But the sort of acknowledgement he's done. Yeah, but in his level. time, because you have to be fair, in his time at Chelsea, when he was in the Premier League, yeah. he was a very good player. Hey, I'm not saying he wasn't a good player, yeah. but yeah. what I'm saying that mm -hmm. where we are, they want to put him. You no, know, why, why, why do they want the to? Put him? Still. Yeah, but, uh, Shekul, uh, uh, but, but, what are people saying? He had the, the comparison is that 
he's been compared to uh, Eric Salah. Salah. Mo Salah. Cantona. In terms of level. What? In terms of players who made huge impacts. Shakunaka level no more. Look. Okay, I, uh, who is more elite? Is it Salah or Eden Hazard? Listen, look. I say this. All of us sitting around this table in 25 years' time, mm -hmm. when we tell our kids, yeah. when we watch the Premier League in our time, you know, uh, there's a question I always ask, ask yourself. Will Eden Hazard's name pop up yes. to yeah, your it consciousness yes, it would. very quickly? It would. Probably, oh, probably no, not. It, it, not very if you write quickly. the Premier League story... Not very quickly. Let, let me ask you again. If you write ah, the Premier League yeah, story... Yeah, I Not very quickly. Very quickly. I'm coming. But it will pop up. I'm coming. If you write the Premier League story from 92... Okay. Mm -hmm. Till now... Mm -hmm. That's... 92 to now is... Is, is a large... I'm just saying... It's a large pool. It's a large pool. But the point is... Yes, that that if you write the two. Premier League story from 92... Mm -hmm. Till now... Mm -hmm. we, we can quickly mention... The, We'll mention Will oh, Rooney. Then Nathan, seriously, we'll mention to be honest, David it will be Beckham. difficult for him to get we'll to We'll mention Stevie G. Mm -hmm. We'll mention Thierry Henry. Yes. We'll mention Alan we'll Shearer. You'll Alan Shearer. Yes. We'll, we'll mention Eric Cantona. Ah. Mm -hmm. Right? You so mention Schmeichel. Schmeichel. So you'll mention Ronaldo, Peter Schmeichel. Ronaldo. you mention Ronaldo. 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 you mention Ryan Giggs. Giggs. Yes. Right? You mention more. Ed Eddie Nazar will get a mention. Yeah, no he'll doubt. He'll yeah. get a mention. No doubt. But about Nagbel, please. But other names will come. Back back. Okay, but let's talk about Azad's career. Let's focus on. As for all the other. Uh, truth be told, he, he really disappointed me. He didn't reach his potential. Like how? Look, he was so indisciplined. He didn't <laughs> take care of himself well. Oh, for, so for you, that's the disappointment. That is, look, he was so good a player. Very low sense of gravity. Mm -hmm. Who could do anything with the ball? Mm -hmm. I think the move that should have cemented his status as one of the greatest was the Real Madrid. Okay, I get your point. So you feel that he, he <laughs> built a good base at Chelsea. And then he, when he wanted to, he needed to take his career to the next, next level, level and then dominate at that level. See, at just least, like, mm -hmm. he signed how many years? I think it's five, five years. Five years contract. At least he needed to show the people of Spain how good a player he is. At least three years. I think he, he falls into that category of players who I watch, they, they are doing well, they are brilliant, but I have this innate Never feeling that, I have this innate feeling that, hard I have this innate feeling that, uh, this guy, there's still a level that he can so, get so, to. So, yes. so, one of those players, one, Paul Pogba. Number two, Neymar. And then how about the force in that? Players, players who yeah. you feel could have moved to the next, next level. level. Okay, let me... Like, I watched them play. Like, Look, this guy he should brilliant. have seen... He should have seen Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi as his target and do things to challenge They, they were the S to the throne. Let and me, they never uh, go uh, to the throne. Nathan, so let me say... There was a time when he granted an interview. Yeah, I listened to that interview and mm -hmm. they asked him one question mm -hmm. about where he wants to see himself get to. Mm -hmm. So this, this interview was done at a time when I think he won his second Premier League title with Chelsea. Yeah. And then he said something. He was like, he is an entertainer. Mm -hmm. He likes to play football, entertain people, and he's content. Uh, I remember the words yeah, I, I, carefully. I, I, and you see, to buttress this, Antonio Conte mm -hmm. said it. Mauricio Sarri said it about him. Mm -hmm. All right. Jose Mourinho said it about him. Uh, there were several coaches at Chelsea during that time when they came in were like, Chelsea has Hazard never trained club. hard enough. Chelsea has a football club. Hazard has to ban beggars. <laughs> <laughs> no beggar seller should sell to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but it's true. No, yeah, but it's true. 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 Yeah, but the point is that, but the point, away from all of that, away, you cannot take away when no, Hazard, but, but, when Hazard a was good player, let, me, let, me say, let me say something. Me, to be honest, I, I, I enjoyed watching him. Well, yes, but but I, enjoy I, I, felt, I felt he could have done more. You, you felt he could have done more. He's in that bracket of players where the talent is there, mm -hmm. but they are never ready to work hard enough. Okay. Have, you ever, have you ever imagined that there are some people who are just content? Oh, yes. yes, yes, that's that's yes. yes. Me, I don't reach I, I such players. Because me, to be honest, if, 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 if I'm a coach mm -hmm. and I'm to pick Hazard and Salah, I'll pick Salah. Oh, okay. yeah, because I, I say, I say, I say uh. Hazard is an entertainer. But Salah, in terms of impact, you are looking for a player. What he you are looking for a player to to change a game. A game. But Eden Hazard, I mean, can Mohamed Salah. Games. No, no. Yes. Come on, Nathan. Mohamed Salah is the man for you. Eden Hazard. Is it 
Aiden, see, guys, Aiden, listen, we might say all, oh, and I agree, mm-hmm. because when I look at Aiden myself, yeah, I look at him with the same feeling that there, there was, was a, another level. I felt he could have, maybe because, maybe the because, too high. no, 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 maybe because by the time he was probably making the switch to Real yeah, Madrid, maybe I felt, look, how old is he now? So when he when he was leaving, he was what twenty eight. He was twenty. Yeah, yeah he was twenty seven. When he when he when he got to Real Madrid, he was about 27, 28. 27, That was his prime year. So you feel there was oh, a lot to more. There was a lot more discipline, especially having been criticized by Mourinho for about your weight. your weight and your eating habit. Antonio Conte, your weight and your eating habit. They were they all didn't say, look. You have this brilliant player who you could just, if only he can allow himself. That's what I'm saying. That if you had looked at Cristiano Ronaldo, he should have used Ronaldo as look his his, his model in, in terms, terms of, of taking discipline, care of taking care of himself. He would have broken I into that. There are, 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 are multiple approaches to becoming part of the good conversation. If, if not the good, if you are not the good, you can be part of that category. That move to Chelsea, to be honest, the guy really chill. Like he really chill. No, you see, the point is, <laughs> what do you want from your player? Because I feel that when Eden Hazard was at Chelsea, yes. he, he did out everything oh, yeah, they wanted him to do. The point is, you can you can go with the Cristiano Ronaldo way, mm-hmm. the latter part of Cristiano Ronaldo, mm-hmm. where at the beginning he was like Eden Hazard, mm-hmm. dribbling, step over, just trying to beat his man. But you know, and he ended up winning the FIFA World Best mm-hmm. doing that. Eden Hazard never won it doing that. Then later, Ronaldo realized, okay, I can do all the fancy dribbles and all, mm-hmm. but if I don't score goals, I wouldn't have that impact that I, I can have on a game, decide a game. Mm-hmm. So he switched his approach and became more direct. That's the same thing that uh, Mohamed Salah has gone through. Mohamed Salah, when he was playing at SC Basel and playing at Fiorentina and AS Roma, he would dribble virtually everyone. But now he's more direct. He's scoring goals. And Eden Hazard, in that approach... Didn't reach the Ronaldinho level. He didn't reach the Messi level. But Eden Hazard was as direct as anything. No, he no, in terms of the dribbling. When I listen, Eden, look, I don't even think Eden Hazard was an extravagant dribbler. I think when he dribbled, it was effective. Mm-hmm. When he took the ball, he went past people and made things happen. But he didn't get to the Ronaldinho level. He didn't get to no, the Cristiano no, but, Ronaldo level. No, but you see, if Ronaldo just about the Premier League. That was his level, though. You see, that that was Ronaldo, his level. I'm saying that Ronaldinho's skill. Mm-hmm. When you see. When you watch, not everybody can can dribble as silky as as silky as Ronaldinho. That's a that's a different but type. Cristiano Ronaldo did it the Eden Hazard way. He was direct and coming yes, at and you. I'm saying and that. I'm saying that he made it to the FIFA World Best and he won it and in I'm the Premier League. Good. And I'm saying that when I watched Eden Hazard, he wasn't an extravagant dribble. When he took the ball, mm-hmm. he had pace. Mm-hmm. He knew what he wanted to do and yes. he delivered every day Chelsea wanted him to deliver. But he didn't get to the Cristiano Ronaldo you level. See, we, can argue, we can argue and say that should he have, look, should he have pushed on more? The yes, Chelsea platform I agree. And the, and the Real Madrid platform is there's a vast I get it. difference. So after Chelsea, you move on. Uh, to you your don't use Chelsea dynasty. and get to Madrid. I'm, 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 beggars. I get your point. So he didn't <laughs> deliver, but it doesn't take away his skill. And I'll and I'll wrap up. No, with he's this. a skillful player. Oh, yes, he's and, a and, and I'll wrap up with this. There was something Samaletto grant. There's this very popular Samaletto interview he mm-hmm. granted on French TV, mm-hmm. right? And he said something that many years on did come true. He said he told Aiden Hazard that Aiden. You are talented, but without hard work and without a right attitude, this will cost hey. you. And I remember Samaletto's exact words in the French interview. He said, Aiden, sap pay cash. He says, Aiden, it will cost you. It will cost you premium. This yes. attitude of yours where you are not applying yourself sape well. Cash. It's a pay. Like it's a pay. It means it, it's costly. It's costly. Uh, sap pay. Sap pay. It costs. I told it's me he costly. wanted cash from. No, he told him, it was, it was telling him that it will cost him. If he says, Sape cash, it means that it will cost you a lot. Uh, yeah. Sape cash. cash. Yes, okay. it will cost you a lot. Mm. So I, I think we all look at it as we all would have wanted. And no one share it should be a good one. No, I saw it. It has a bit put on weight. But, but I'm saying that yeah, before no, those no, no, times, no, 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 has it was brilliant. Nathan, is it, doesn't the same thing apply to Neymar? Doesn't the same thing apply to Paul Pogba? There were players who could have moved on to the next one. what Eto said. 
Of course. Doesn't the, 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 doesn't the same thing apply to yes, uh, yes. Uh, Mema? Yeah. Doesn't the same thing apply to Popoba? Yeah. That's why I, I put and another in that category. Okay. So that's, that's, these are players who are so, so talented. They, 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 they are lazy players. Just so so they are lazy players. I'm saying that they, they did so lack, well. They lack the discipline. Okay, that they did so well. That's but, one but, but, but at least, and they could have gone to another level, but failed to get to that level. But at least, we have to recognize the great. Oh, yeah, it's a legend. Let me take everybody's favorite hazard moment as we wrap up. Chris, do you have a favorite as that moment? I remember. I think there was the one he picked the ball. The solo run against Arsenal. Yeah, against yeah, Arsenal. yeah, yeah. It's yeah, also my one. favorite. Yeah. Your favorite yes. as that moment. And right. then his final goal against Arsenal in the Europa League. That was the final game. I think the Tottenham Hotspur. His final, the against, final game. I think yes. the goal against Tottenham Hotspur also come to. Yeah. yeah, it also comes into the mix. Yeah, two, two. Was it four, two, three, three, two? Two, two, two. Yeah. Yeah. Keller. Yeah, that the yeah, yeah. goal that Leicester fans celebrate yeah, as yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. the greatest yeah, yeah. Leicester goal yeah. ever scored. Yeah. I think that and the the run the solo run against Arsenal. Yeah. I give you two. My my first favorite is that goal because I think it was at the end of a very horrible season for him personally, but that goal to seal the Premier yeah. League win for Leicester City excites yeah. me so much. And then there was a goal he scored at Anfield. And I remember that goal. Yes, that, the Carabao Cup. Carabao, yeah, Carabao I think, Cup. Otherwise, yeah. I can't remember which yeah, it, goal. It was, was on the right. Was sad. It was on I the right. I was in the newsroom where he was handed the ball. Yeah, on the right. Absolutely tore through the defense and put the ball I in think he not made one player on that part. Yeah. No, I don't go for go a beggar's three. <laughs> Okay, we'll go no buy the guest three. <laughs> Don't yeah, do that man. to Eden Hazard. Look, I really love him. Eden Hazard, scorer of 110. And it was enough. 110 goals for Chelsea. 110. 110, yeah. 110 for Chelsea. How many for Madrid? <laughs> <laughs> Madrid was it was more, was more. It was more. It was more no, than ten. Just for goals. No, you left where? Left where? You know. Eden Hazard, look, enjoy your retirement wherever you are. You gave us great moments. One day he'll coach Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Alright, guys, that's our show for today. Chris, well, yeah, I have a thank shout you so out. much. I will get there in yeah. a bit. Gabby, thank you. Yeah, I mean, thank you. Thank you very much yeah, out there for listening. Much. We appreciate your messages. Oh, shout out, shout out. Shout out. Yeah. Today, yeah. once yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. So, you... shout outs to uh, Corporal Sally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's listening to the show. Corporal right Sally. Yeah. Oh. Corporal Sally. I'm going to misbehave. I'm going to lie. If you joke, you go chop on. I go by a simple. <laughs> okay, big shouts to uh, Mr. David Somiakwa, big fan of City, everything about City. Um, the man absolutely loves it. Yeah, mm-hmm. so Papa, I see you. Big shouts to you, Mr. David Somiakwa. Okay, all right. Okay, mine is a birthday wish. Mm-hmm. And it's coming from one of my very trusted and reliable colleagues. Mm-hmm. She's a, she, and it's to her husband. So I'm reading this message from Mrs. Christiana Oseusu mm-hmm. to her lovely husband, mm-hmm. Mr. or Doctor. Yeah, he's a he's doctor. He's a doctor, okay. Dr. Gerald Oseusu. I see. So, Doc, this is from your wife. She says, Happy birthday, my precious gem. Mm-hmm. You are a year more loving, more handsome, more kind hearted, and pleasant. Mm. I still marveled how you effortlessly. Stay awesome in our marriage. May God continue to bless you with more years from your missus and your son, Yao, mm. who just turned one. Okay. We are coming home and we are ready for you, daddy. Mm. And from Coach Nimli, dog, 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 dog. Uh-huh. When I say dog, dog, he responds by saying, Mr. Nimli, Mr. Nimli, dog. Happy birthday. Mm. God bless you. Mm. You've been a wonderful husband mm. to my colleague, Christiana. Mm. Chris says she loves you and we all love you. Mm. Happy birthday. Right. Enjoy your day. All right. And shout outs to the entire Accra Academy family. Tomorrow is a homecoming, Chris. Tomorrow is homecoming. <laughs> uh, we'll be coming. Yeah, so shout outs to the entire Accra Academy family. Tomorrow is homecoming. Shout outs to my Accra Academy year group, the 2004 year group. We beg for once, let the debate stop. Hey, baby! From morning to evening, argument in Guan. Shout outs to all the guys on the Accra Academy 2004 year group WhatsApp page. You guys are amazing. My name is Nathan Kwa. It's been Sports Panorama. We'll catch you next Friday with another exciting episode. Take care of yourself. <laughs>